Back again for another edition of Rolling with Stone. Coach, uh, another productive weekend last weekend. You come back, you win on Friday, and then uh, maybe some teachable moments uh, from the game Sunday. Yeah, anytime you take a loss, especially uh, letting one get away from you that you had in control, um, it's an opportunity early in the season. End of the season, it could end your year. But early on, you've got a chance to look at video, talk with the leadership, have players own up to things that they feel like they need to improve on. Coaching staff also in that same boat. So that's the approach we took. And I feel like by Wednesday, we moved through some of those things and we're ready, ready for Friday. There is no doubt in my mind that you are stronger today than you were a week ago. You learn a lot through the course of the first four or five ball games. But how much do you learn about your team when you take that first one? Well, you know, nobody else really played us. Everyone else just backed off of us. But uh, Long Beach was by far the best team we'd seen. And so we had some great moments. But those moments have to be extended from, let's say, 40 to 90 or 60 to 90. And um, we talked a lot about that. I think just playing it to the whistle, obviously, and taking care of the small details. You know, the, the margin of victory against two, two really good teams is really narrow. And uh, that's a good lesson to learn at this time of the year. Obviously, we're seeing the strides in recruiting. We're seeing every year. Last year was Janine Becky with the with an unbelievable freshman year. We've seen a little bit now of uh, Maddie Crabtree. Well, Crabby's a goal scorer. That's what she does, and uh, she does so many little things so well. But at the end of the day, she just gets herself in front of goal. She knows where to be. Super comfortable. One of the best young goal scorers that we've ever recruited here. And uh, you know, I'll take her in the box with the ball at her foot up against almost any player that we'll see this year. It's just an out-and-out goal scorer. So now you stay in the Big West, you wrap up a long home stand. What do you want to get out of this weekend? Well, I guess we're playing three of the best teams in the Big West. We've played the third best, now we're going to play the top two. So we know it's going to take a great effort uh, from us. And, you know, we got to make the most of these home games. We've been great at the John Walker Soccer Complex. The team's fresh. We're not 100% healthy yet, but we're getting there. And uh, as we move towards a full roster, a, a loaded bench, we've got to continue to improve. So we look forward to Friday night and we can't even think about Sunday until Friday's over. So your last chance to see your Texas Tech Red Raiders at home for about three weeks here Friday night against Cal State Fullerton at seven o'clock here at the John Walker Soccer Complex. And then again against Cal State Northridge at one o'clock on Sunday. Coach, best of luck. Thank you.